And I just, force of habit, started saying, that's bananas. Oh, that shit's bananas. We didn't invent it. We've certainly claimed it as our own. We've planted our flag firmly on Banana Land Island. Welcome to Banana Land. He just took banana and, like, turned it into everything. You guys think Brady actually deflated footballs? This is Banana Land. That word is just perfect. We have Banana Land all the time. The fucking quarantine's Banana Land. It's just something you have to say if you want to describe something that's crazy or out of left field. I say it all the time. I definitely got it from working at Barstool. Bananas are Bananas. Like, this shit's bananas. 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 Hi, I'm Trista Crick, Barstool's correspondent. When you're new here, a lot of phrases come up that you've never heard before. So I wanted to investigate what those mean and where they came from. One of the terms that kept coming up was banana land. So I sat down with some of the OGs to get the scoop. What does bananas or banana land mean to you? Something so crazy, it is not of this world. It's just something crazy. Something that's just like out of this world. I don't even know when that came about or how it came about. I just remember it was something I regularly heard being screamed. Like having a crazy upstairs neighbor and like during the rundown, just hey, Dave being like, you guys think Brady actually deflated footballs? This is banana land. You're, you're in banana land. Um, banana land. Yeah, banana land. It's bananas. 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 It's already banana land to me that's gotten this far. It's bananas. You were going bananas. 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 That word is just perfect. Like anytime he uses it, you know exactly what he means, that things are just not real life, not even close to real life. When's the first time that you heard it? So the first time I probably heard banana land was when I was a stoolie. I was watching rundowns. And it just was such a Dave Portnoy word. I don't even know if he could do it on purpose. I think it got more uh, emphasized, more emphatic by Dave just because he doesn't know how to really speak English. He's kind of dyslexic with words and with dates and all this and that. Like bananas is such a short word and it takes him like four minutes to say there's U's and H's throughout. It, it is. Bananas. Well, I feel like he just used banana, like bananas was where it started. And then just like, he would apply it to like, hey, if he's in a different, if he's in a location, that location's banana land. That's <laughs> banana world. We're in banana land. No, we went from banana land, banana world. Banana. What is a iconic moment that is banana land? We have banana land all the time. The fucking quarantine's banana land. Like the fact that my apartment has turned into a zoo and Spider just needed 10 stitches across three different fingers and while I'm trading millions of dollars. That's Spider. 10 stitches? Yeah, six, two, and two. I'd say my apartment is banana land. Your entire life sort of right now is banana land. Yeah, not in a great way, but yes. The pen deal is definitely banana land. <laughs> um, the churning deal was banana land. Moving to a second office is banana land. Basically, everything that's happened in the last four years has been in some way banana land because it's like, how are we? How do we keep succeeding by being the dumbest people on the internet? I mean, the whole Pirate Simon, like that whole saga was truly banana land. There's one where he says it and it, it's like every syllable takes an hour. Bananas. <laughs> Anytime we've been close to Tiger Woods, it would be the perfect description of like, this can't be real life. This is more like a carnival. It's more like a simulation. It's banana land. It's not real. It's not even close to real. At what point do you feel like that became something that all of you guys would say too, not just Dave? I don't know. I never made an active decision to start saying banana land. I never made an active decision to start saying smoke show. Just things you read and said so often or read so often that you just started saying it. It's just something we all understand. I, I remember when I got the social media job and they were being like, make sure you don't tweet like inside Barstool. And the first example Dave gave was be like, if something's crazy, don't say it's banana land. Do you think that it's now something that we all just say that it seeps in uh, to the ether of like the culture at Barstool? I've Jeff totally, I've got taken it, I adapted it. 100%. I say it all the time. I feel like with, with, you hate to see it in a couple other phrases. They just become so inside Barstool that it's it's just become the secondary language to us. That That's like the first place your mind goes when you want to describe something. I mean, it's not a crazy word, but it's like, I, I just, we, it's something that's been said a lot. Like Kevin's fucking gross. That says, has been said a lot. You know, our vernacular, our phrasing, it is infectious, it does spread. And bananas has seeped into, I think, everyone's vocabulary. I'm sure, Tristan, you'll be walking around calling shit bananas, banana land that you didn't even know existed. You're always looking for that different, that better word. A banana's just hits. It just slapped properly. 
everybody knows what you're talking about. Sometimes there's just a situation, it pops up, you know how you describe it, you go, that's fucking bananas.